Hi, welcome to this short training video on how to create a new customer record in NetSuite. This video is presented to you by Business Solution Partners. Today I'll give you an overview of company and individual customer types. I'll show you how to assign a subsidiary to a new customer. I'll go over the relationships and communication tabs when creating a new customer. And I'll show you how to enter the address for your customer as well as financial information in the financial tab, such as which GL account will be associated with your customer's invoices. To create a new customer, I'll go to the Customer tab, down to Lists, and over to Customers, and click on New. And this will take me to the new customer input form. I'm going to use the template called Basic Customer Form, but you may have customized forms that have been designed for your firm. The customer ID is selected to be auto-filled, which is going to be based on the company name or the individual name that I use for this customer. I'm going to be creating a company as my customer, but you have the option of creating an individual, in which case, you will select or enter the name and last name of this customer. So I'm going to go back to company. And I'm going to call, call my company new company. And when you tab over, you can see that the new company was used as the customer ID as well. If this was the child of another customer, you have the option here to select the parent company for this customer. But I won't be using that field today. The status here is required, and typically we use customer close one. But check internally to ensure that you don't have to use a different color classification. If you want to communicate with this customer via email, you have to enter an email here. And this is very useful to send invoices to this customer over email. But I'm not going to use any of these fields today. You have the option of entering email, the phone number, fax, as well as address. I have to select a subsidiary for my customer. So I'm going to use US1. I will make this a customer type corporation. And if you wanted to use the customer picture, you can find it in your browser and add it here. Under the information tab, you have some additional classifications that you can use to categorize your customer, but I'm not gonna use that field today. You have the number of employees if you wanted to use that. If we go, go over to relationships, this is where you can enter a contact person and contact information for your customer. Under communication, you can initiate emails for, with your customer and track other events that you may want to log in this record. Under the address tab, you can enter the address for your customer. The way to do this is by clicking on the, the edit button over to the right. And this will bring you to the address screen. I will just enter for now, test New York and the state of New York. And I'll leave it at that for now. And once you're done with that, you just click OK. You can have multiple addresses for your customer. You can have an address for billing and an address for shipping. You just continue to add them here and select for the purpose of that address is. Now let's go to the Financial tab. And here we have a few fields that we need to complete before we can move forward. 
you need to select a receivable account and this is where invoices will be posted when you create new receivables for your clients. I'm going to select the 1100 accounts receivable by account. We have our preferences set to tax all our customers for sales taxes, but that's something that you can change in your preferences. Our terms are defaulting to net 30, but again, you can change that under preferences. Under the balance sheet section, if you are transitioning this customer from another system and you had an, an open balance with this customer, you could enter that information here. If you want to have the customer be eligible for revenue deferral, you can select the defer revenue account under the defer revenue account section. If there is to be currency adjustments, you can select where the adjustment gets booked in the GL. I'll leave that blank. Over the right here, if you have an opening balance with this customer, you will select your accounts receivable. And I'm going to leave it at 1100 And at the bottom, we select under currency, the currency that we're going to build this customer in. And I'm going to use USD. You may have other options. There is credit card information as well as EFT information for payments associated with this customer. And some additional items under the group pricing and item pricing. And now my customer is ready to be created. My customer is now ready for invoicing, for communication. And if I wanted to make any changes to this customer, like changing the address or other terms, I can edit it if you have those rights. That might be something that a different team member has the right to, so you have to check that with your team internally if you are trying to make changes to a customer that has already been created. We hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions about any of the features described in the video or need training or support with NetSuite managers or transactions, please contact Business Solution Partners at the email or phone number on the screen. Business Solution Partners is a NetSuite partner and a management and consulting firm specializing in cloud-based system implementations. Their staff members and management team include CPAs and certified solution developers with over 25 years of experience in accounting and system implementation. Visit us at bsbny.com or follow us on Twitter and other social media.